Hi, everybody. I hope you gave this problem a try. Um, it's one that I really enjoy because I love mixing questions that involve polygons with questions with circles and just trying to find um, the given information in one formula and then applying it to the other one. So this problem says the circle below is inscribed in the given square. If the area of the square is 49 square inches, what is the circumference in inches of the circle? Leave your answer in terms of pi. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna just write down some of my given information. Well, I know that the circle is inscribed in the square. All that means is that this circle is like perfectly touching the edges of this square. Second thing, I know that the area of the square is equal to 49. 49 square inches. Okay. I also know that in order to find the area of the square, we multiply the length times the width, or in this case, they're both the same since in a square we have four equal sides. I'm just going to say the side times the side. All right. So knowing that information right away, I know that since the area is equal to 49, that means that the square root of 49 is equal to the side length. And the square root of 49 is 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. All right, so that means we've got 7 here. 7 here, 7 here, and then if I'm just going to move this up, I could throw my 7 on this other side. Now, the next thing it tells me is that um, I'm looking for the circumference in inches of the circle. So I do need to know another formula. I need to know that the circumference is found by multiplying pi by the diameter. Okay, so pi is just a constant, and in this case, we're going to keep it in um, our answer. And the diameter is something that we actually have. Being that the side length is seven, if I have a circle that's inscribed in a square, this, the diameter will also be the length of that side. As we can see, this diameter is going to be parallel to the side. Or if I was to draw perpendicular, it would be parallel to the side. There's an infinite amount of ways I could draw the diameter, but as long as it's a line that goes through the center and goes from edge to edge, it is the diameter. So therefore, the circumference is equal to pi times 7. And we're done. The circumference is equal to 7 pi. And that would be in inches. Now I would just double check to make sure it wasn't looking for the area, which we need another formula for. Um, it wasn't looking for maybe one of the shaded or the non-shaded regions, but it's not. It's just looking for the circumference, which we have of seven pi. Let me know how you did. And uh, good luck.